Hello Internet, I am Mihai. It is part 17. I will create the deployment folder. Open the Jenkins file. It is deployapp.jenkins file and create a new stage. Stage Create Deployment Folder Open the body, copy the timeout, past it, set it for 5 seconds, good, create steps, create script, very good, now create a variable, it will be the deployment folder path. Final string deployment folder path equals open double quotes underscore underscore deployment underscore dollar curly brackets and inside the curly brackets you write env dot build underscore number. Build number is a Jenkins environment variable. I will show you. Open Jenkins. Open the folder. Open the pipeline. Go to the run number 4. It is it. Open the logs. Scroll down. Here I printed all environment variables. Scroll down. And here is the build number. It is 4. The same as the build number here and build number in the URL. Go back to Jenkins file. I want to create a new global variable. Scroll up. And here in the line 4 create a new line and write final map deployment config map equals square brackets. Here you create a new map, Jenkins workspace, colon, create another map, and write deployment, folder, path, colon, null. At the beginning of the pipeline, deployment folder path inside the map will be null. It will have no value. But in the stage I created below, I will assign here the proper value of the deployment folder location. Scroll down and write deployment config map, open square brackets, double quotes, scroll up, copy the key, pass it in the double quotes, create another pair of square brackets. Scroll up, copy the deployment folder path key, pass it in the double quotes, good, equals, close the project view, and write deployment folder path. Good, the variable is created, now it is time to create the folder. Write sh to call the shell script. And in parentheses, you write script mkdir make directory and put here the deployment folder path. Good. Comma label and write create deployment folder. I want to confirm the folder is created. So I write dir, it will tell Jenkins to enter a directory, put the directory path, open the body and write a message. Deployment folder created at path, open single quotes, dollar sign, and inside curly brackets, you call a Jenkins method pwd. It is print working directory. It will return 
the directory where Jenkins is located right now. The confirmation message is created. Now I want to print two debug logs. sh to call the shell, ls to print the folder content, another shell, ls, la, deployment folder path. So the first shell will print the content of the Jenkins workspace and another shell will print the content of the deployment folder path. Write a comment to remove the debug logs. Good. Check git changes. I created a global variable apply. I created a new stage. It is good. Apply. Write the commit message, create it. Copy the stage name. Pass it in the message. Space stage. New line, create, deployment. Older. Commit and push. Push. Good job. I'm proud of you. It's time to run the pipeline. Open Jenkins. Go to pipeline dashboard. Build with parameters. Branch name is main. And build. Wait. The pipeline finished. I see the stage create deployment folder. Open the logs. Just refresh the page. Click on the circle. Scroll down. I see the stage create deployment folder. I created a new directory deployment 11. Because the build number is 11, also here is 11 in the URL. Jenkins entered the workspace and the deployment folder 11. You see Jenkins workspace folder name, pipeline name, and underscore underscore deployment 11. I have the echo command deployment folder created at path, and here is the absolute path. Also, I printed the content of the workspace. Here is the deployment 11 folder. Letter D means it is a directory. Scroll down. And the content of deployment 11 is an empty folder. The pipeline status is success. Go to Jenkins file. Remove the debug logs. One, two. Remove the empty line. Check the changes. I removed the debug logs, apply, write the commit message, removed, debug, logs, new line, create deployment folder, commit and push, commit anyway, push. Open the diagram, select the stage, make it white. And it is all. Now you have a deployment folder. Thank you for watching.